Tony D and little Joan here with a screenwriter's rant on Werewolf Cabal, a UK movie that's about a bunch of werewolves, I guess. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 10 available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. Uh, this looks to be a low-budget affair. Um, and it looks, it's kind of hard to tell from this trailer. I'm not in love with the cut of this trailer. It, it seems very old school. They're, they're focusing a lot on the characters and not so much on the werewolf. Very little of that in this. Uh, let's read the synopsis. Uh, this is, uh, Chris Sanders, British horror film, Werewolf Cabal, starring Vernon Wells from Mad Max. Danny Thompson, uh, Christmas Slay, is coming to soon to VOD platforms, Amazon Prime, blah, 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 blah. An author travels to a small rural town in the UK K, to collect an inheritance after his estranged mother dies. During his stay, he uncovers a cabal who worship li uh, lycanthrope. Lycanthropes, I think that's supposed to be plural. Uh, one of my favorite memories of Werewolf Cabal was shooting a head decapitation scene in the graveyard of the church we hired at three in the morning. Being a huge horror film fan, it doesn't get better, much better than this. Well, that's kind of fun. They, they, they you know, it looks like they had fun with it. Um, I guess, I, I guess there's only one werewolf and they worship it? It's hard to tell. I thought Cabal would have implied that there's a bunch of werewolves and they all live in the town, but I guess there's just one and they worship it as sort of a minor deity. Um, and I guess the mother was killed by the werewolf. He's from L.A. He's a writer from L.A., which I guess probably jives because he probably is from L.A. <laughs> he probably hired the actor from L.A. Yeah, these effects were okay. I thought they were kind of cool, the nails coming out. Um, not bad. I, you know, it's a dead giveaway, though, when they when they mess with the lighting and you can't really see things. Then you know it's like, oh, okay, that's why. That's why. They, 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 I don't know who she is. She, she just shows up at the end of the trailer, and I'm like, who the hell is she? Um, it, I mean, there's a lot going on here, but I'm really not getting it. I, I got to be honest. I mean, the lighting looks very TV, which I don't like. And I, if I didn't know this was a movie, because it says specifically film, I would swear this is a TV series. Because that's the way a lot of it comes off. So, uh, I don't think I can go much further on this. Yeah, see? There we go. Oh. I had it perfect before. Uh, directed by Chris Sanders. I think it was produced by Chris Sanders and Jack Gianda. Or story by, maybe that is. Let's see. Oh, come on. Go away. There we go. Produced by. Yeah, that's a produced by credit. Looks like a screenplay by Chris Sanders. So, Chris is doing the heavy lifting here. Yeah. Chris is doing the heavy lifting. Uh, he's not in it. He's not one of the actors, but, uh, I mean, for a low-budget affair, it doesn't look bad. You got a hot chick at the end there. Not her. Uh, <laughs> she's the, she's like the psychic. You got some interesting-looking actors. You got at least one werewolf in the mix. Um, you know, it looks okay. It's not wowing me, though. A movie like this you want to make this work you gotta have some awesome lines that's the that's the one thing you could really you can really uh beat big movies have just a killer line man you know what is this movie and, and one line werewolf cabal and they had one line that was pretty good oh how i don't believe in werewolves or something like that something about the existence of werewolves that's not bad but you know, something, something like that, you know, something, something big and dramatic delivered with some gravitas. 
I'd rather die than let these werewolves eat me. Something like that. Uh, it's clear his mother was killed by one of the werewolves. I guess she turns into one of them. Or somebody, somebody in this mix is a werewolf, I assume. Um, you know, just a crazy old man going, You cannot stop him. He is the werewolf. He's unstoppable. Something like that. Something to kind of give us like a taste of the dramatic moments. Yeah, this is the girl. She's pretty hot. I think she's pretty hot. Reminds me a little bit of, uh, what's that actress? Lucy Pinder, I think her name is. She's a model. Um, <laughs> you know. The acting looks okay. There's a lot of actors though, so I think if you if you got a low budget affair and you have a lot of actors, sometimes that can do well for you because you're kind of filtering through a lot of people. If one of those actors is really good and he's not the main actor, that could be a problem because then you go like, oh, who's this guy? And then he leaves and you're like, oh. <laughs> um, so, I mean, none of these actors are really blowing me away on this. But that's not always the actor's fault. Sometimes they're just like, well, I'm following the lines and I'm going to collect my paycheck, whatever. Um, for a movie called Werewolf Cabal, quite frankly, I'm not seeing enough werewolves. Right? It's, it's, to me, I wanted to see multiple werewolves going at each other. If that's not the case... I mean, I get it. It still goes with the title, but that's kind of what I was expecting. But the main problem I think I have with this is the lighting. The lighting makes it look like a TV show. It's not a TV show, so it kind of feels cheap. So, uh, I'm not super in love with it. It feels like it, was, it wasn't shot on video. or it's, A lot of these movies are shot on very high-end video, but it... The, the lighting's kind of just too flat. It's just too flat. Especially the scene in the, the interrogation room. It's just too bright. I know, I often complain that... Now, see, this looks like a movie. This is movie. But the interrogation room looks way too... This looks like a movie. Uh, you know, if you're going to have a bright scene like that... It, 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 this looks like a movie... The interrogation scene looks like... That looks like TV. That totally looks like TV to me. That red filter's way too red, in my view. Now here, they're using a red filter. It looks fine. And then here, I mean... Yeah, I'm not in love with this. It feels a little too... The cinematography is like kind of all over the place. I get it, you're using the smoke machine and stuff, but... And I know, a lot of people use the smoke machine, whatever, but I, I get tired of it. Like, all this is fine. Like, this is a good shot. I like this. Um, so, I don't know. Did two people like this movie? It feels like it did. I mean, this outside shot, this feels grounded in reality. This feels like a movie right here. The hat's a little much, but... He's a writer, so I could see it happening. I used to wear hats. <laughs> I got into a hat phase. He's a young guy. He's in his hat phase. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm so focused on the lighting. It just... See, if you notice it, I feel like that's a that's a drawback. If I'm noticing the lighting, like... And then I start looking at it more, and then I'm, I, I'm like, distracted by it. If the action and the dialogue is so riveting that I don't even notice that better, you know? So, I guess that's the real problem here. If the action and the dialogue was riveting enough, I'd, I'd, I'd let most of this stuff go. It's not, it's not like it's I don't know, it's not like it's grade school lighting or anything. It's just, it just feels a little I don't know, it does feel a little film school-y to me. But it is a low-budget affair. Um, he looks good. Is he the werewolf? I don't know. They don't show. I guess it's a mystery who the werewolf is. So. Anyhow, would I watch it? 
Maybe. I mean, it's on video on demand. I might check it out because the main character is a writer. And I do like werewolves. I just watched Werewolf by Night and Marvel. That was okay. I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of the comic. Poor Man Thing, who's also in it. It's all right. Again, it wasn't blowing me away. But if I had a choice between this or the Marvel, I mean, I guess the Marvel stuff has better effects. This, and and I, I had to say better actors, but, you know, I kind of don't want to support Marvel, and I kind of know where all that's going. Whereas this, at least, the one surprise could be you could do something different with it. You could do something different with the story, you know, you could do a storyline where he's fighting the people in the Cabal and the werewolf. He kills the werewolf, but then he becomes the new werewolf and he's trapped there forever. Like, that's that's like a cool horror movie ending. That's probably never going to happen in, a, in like a Marvel comic-based thing. It's never going to be that, you know. It's always, it's very comic booky, to 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 use a fra turn of phrase. So, first act, um, he is... Going to England to collect an inheritance because his estranged mother has passed. He gets there and he finds out she was mauled by a pack of dogs. Obviously, that's the werewolf. And so there's some, there's a, a strange sort of uh, situation around his mother's death. Uh, second act, he begins to look into it a little bit, finds out more than he bargained for. As the movie progresses, finds out maybe his mother wasn't so bad. Maybe she had a reason for shutting him out because, I don't know, she's a werewolf or she was married to the werewolf or whatever. Uh, she Maybe she tried to warn him and he starts to uncover this stuff. He's forced to stay overnight for a few days. And during that time, you know, he starts seeing weird stuff. People start telling him, get out, get out. And he's like, well, what are you telling me to get out for? Um, long story short, the werewolf shows up, kills somebody, and then he's sort of trying to solve the mystery because he now thinks that the werewolf killed his mother and maybe he wants revenge. Third act is a big confrontation between him and the werewolf. Uh, he either kills the werewolf or is becomes the new werewolf or is killed by the werewolf. I kind of lean towards he kills the werewolf. And maybe 25% chance he becomes the new werewolf. Um, maybe they're trying to do some kind of franchise thing where he become, he's injured by the werewolf. He defeats it, but he's injured. And then he goes back to L.A. and slowly he's turning into the next werewolf. And then they're going to do a sequel, you know, Werewolf Cabal 2. Uh, except it takes place in L.A. because the main character was in L.A. Maybe. I mean, that's a bit ambitious. Um, you know, there seems to be more focus on the characters than the werewolf, which is fine if you have intriguing dialogue. In the UK, they're still, I think, doing movies more old school. So that's a probably a good thing, unless the dialogue sucks. You know? You know, in American films, it tends to be, it's paced in such a way, such a breathless pace that you're not even... You don't even know what the hell's going on, and you just it's action scene after action scene after action scene, and then before you know it, you're standing in the movie parking lot going, "Wow, wait a minute, that movie didn't make any sense." <laughs> um, so I sort of prefer these movies. However, I grew up in the '70s and '80s seeing these movies, and sometimes they just go nowhere. You know, the dialogue just it's just awful. It's just a bunch of characters talking to kill time, and then you, then it's over, and you're like, "That's it. <laughs> that was that. That is all you had to say." So it's kind of hard to tell from here. Uh, I'm leaning towards it'll probably be watchable for a low budget werewolf movie, maybe. But it feels like you know it was lit by the guys who worked on Dark Shadows or something. Like they had no budget whatsoever, and some of that stuff's gonna fly. You know, it did fly in the 80s. Now, like, I don't think that stuff can fly now. The, the effects are too good. Even, even like, laptop CGI type effects. So, I don't know. They, they, they're trying to hide it, which is both good and bad. 
if you keep it under dark lighting for the effects, then they kind of look better, you know, when you're only seeing part, part of it under dim lighting. So I do like the scene with the hand. That looked kind of cool. Um, but I wouldn't focus on that. It has to be about the story in this case. If you don't have the budget, it has to be about the story, the dialogue, the characters. Give us something interesting to hang our hats on. Not totally seeing it here. Sorry. I want to like this movie. Would I check it out? Maybe. You know, if I saw it. And, oh, Werewolf Cabal. Eh. <laughs> so check it out on Video On Demand. I guess it's out now because this is 2022. I mean, we're in the last month, so. Uh, look for it on Amazon Prime, Tubi TV, Mon, Mon, Monitu, Zumo, Plex, and the Roku channel. I'm guessing one of them, so this movie might be free. Maybe. That's it for me, Tony D. And Little Joan, check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. Sorry I missed Krampus Fest today. Uh, kind of got rained out for me. They still had it, but uh, I couldn't risk... Uh, in the pouring rain when I got there at 10. It didn't start till 12, and then probably by 1.30, the, most of the rain was over, and then then it was on to wind. I don't know. I just, I couldn't risk it. Sorry. If you came out, I'm sorry. You can catch me at the Penville Library on Tuesday, and Barney Loves Books and the uh, Cedar Rose Vineyard on Saturday. Check the links below. We'll see you in the next one.